They had reached the end of the road, but the elation of arriving in Singapore was marred by the fact that this destination could also mean the end of the adventure. We didn't know what we were going to do at that stage because we, we were just about out of money. And, you know, you're out of cash, you're in Singapore, and you know you've got to find a ship to Australia. Well, imagine someone comes up to you and says, right, find a ship to Australia. What do you do in that instance? So the first thing we did was go down to the river taxi rank um, uh, down at the docks, and we, I came across a guy and I said, excuse me, can you tell me how I can find a ship to Australia? And the guy just looked at me and said, I'm sorry, we just go across the river. We tried literally everything. We went down to container ship offices. We asked if they could possibly help. They always said no. I mean, I'm not surprised because we were in these horribly mouldy clothes. And on top of that, we were actually asking for a ship for free, which was ridiculous. One day we were feeling pretty down about the whole situation because really Free Will's East hinged on this one matter of getting across oceans on cargo ships. And we went to a bar in Singapore, we'd had a few drinks, and we had a very, very fortuitous encounter with this chap who owned his own shipping company. And it turned out that he had done something very similar when he was younger and sort of took sympathy with us. He empathised with what we were trying to achieve. After fruitless weeks of asking around the docks and with funds at rock bottom, that fortunate encounter with the man who worked in shipping eventually led to the amazing offer of a free passage to Dampier, Western Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, the Princess Mary. So they set sail for the Antipodes, their route taking them first back to Thailand, then east to Borneo through the Straits of Lombok and across the Indian Ocean to Dampier. With all the spare time they had aboard, they began to wonder what they might do to make ends meet when they arrived. The idea of trading freedom for money did not interest them. But they did need funds to continue to South America and home, ultimately. After arriving in Dampier, the Princess Mary steamed on to Fremantle. From there, the cousins would need to get over to the East Coast to find a ship to Chile, and somehow they had to come by some money. 